is up guys? It's Simon from pianopick.com and this is going to be quite a short and sweet video where I just want to show you a simple but really effective lick you can play over any 251. It sounds awesome, it will take you two minutes to learn or however long this video is <laughs> and it kind of acts as a basis or a framework for you to build your own riffs and variations from. If you enjoy this video and all the other stuff that I do, then definitely head over to pianopig.com and check out the academy that I run. You'll find hours of step-by-step -step courses, PDF downloads, quick tips, and we've got a whole bunch of awesome stuff. So definitely go and check that out right after this video. So this little lick is for a short form 251. And what I mean by that is a 251 that lasts for two bars rather than four. So this is what a long form 251 looks like. And this is what a short form 251 looks like. I guess you could use the lick over a long form one, but it would just be really slow. So <laughs> whatever tickles your fancy, I guess. So enough of me talking, let's play a 251 in C. If you've got no idea what I'm doing here, I'll put a link up in the corner now to a video where I explain all about it. So the best way to think about this is we're playing a 2-5-1 in C major, right? So up here, just plonk a C major triad. And this is going to give us our kind of structure for the pattern. So once you've got that triad, you need to get used to playing this pattern. And if we put that together with our 251, so what we're really doing here is it's good to know what's actually happening and the reasons why it sounds good. We are starting on the ninth of the minor second chord. So here's a D minor nine, and we are starting on the E, the ninth. And then we play this, and we're landing on the 5th of the G7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then... And we finish off by landing on the 3rd of the C major 7. So C major 7. So ninth of the two chord, fifth of the five chord, and third of the one chord. And that's the reason it sounds so nice, it's because we're landing on the clear chord tones of each chord. But thinking of it in terms of just the C major triad just makes it that much easier to remember and transfer into other keys. So once you've got that down, Play around with different variations of it. You can just play around with that and come up with a thousand little licks. And also practice it in some different keys. So uh, F, F major, for example, is a 2-5-1. And so we'd start off with an F major triad and just play that pattern. And again in B flat major, so B flat major triad up here. So it's really easy to transfer into other keys, come up with variations of it, and yeah, that's pretty much it for this one. Hopefully that gives you some more ideas of your own, and if you enjoyed this video, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, check out the Piano Pig Academy, and I will see you next time.